latest venture into the communication realm. It's called Euclid and Oaks, Quarantine and Chill. Yes. A uh, great name. Thank you. I came up with it all by myself. Did you? Uh, yeah. Let Genius. me let me do a little tweet here and see if we can get some of our friends to join us. We have friends. We have a few. We've actually met a lot of people here on crypto Twitter, and met met uh, yes met in real life yeah, and met on Twitter. Yeah, um, yeah. So this is crazy. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on, and we're still processing it. This yeah. isn't a happy fun thing. Oh, you're too happy and fun. Mm. This is. Let me fix this here. See that. Better. What you just said. <laughs> I need everyone to remain calm. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, joking aside. Um, no joking aside? No, joking aside. Oh. As in, yes, joking aside. Right. <laughs> Does that make sense? Kind of. But okay. do you ever? No. no. Uh, I was trying to figure out a way to continue, you know, doing this thing that we do, which is, um, which is what? have fun and, but also communicate with people i think it's going to be important during this time that uh we communicate properly to Mm. everyone now obviously when the shit hits the fan and i expect it to we may lose the internet oh god but i don't know uh and the internet to survive but until then i think uh we should try to communicate as much as possible Mm, that's interesting for you to say since you are such (sighs) a poor communicator. communicator yeah Mm-hmm. Yeah, I suck at communication. Are you talking about between you and me? Oh, God, yes. Okay. Um, obviously. Do you communicate well with others? <laughs> no, I don't know. Is it just me that you have the problem? With? No. See me touching my face? Doesn't matter because we don't we don't go out. How long have we been self-isolating, my uh, love? Ten years. <laughs> That's actually kind of true. Well, you were on fire today. Uh how long have we been self-isolating for this uh, coronavirus thing? Probably a month. At, at least, least at least three weeks. At least yeah. three weeks. Yeah. Uh, th- it's been a bit of a, a craziness on Twitter because um, I think we started, you know, noticing stuff at least a month ago. Uh, our son told us, hey, I think this thing's going to be bigger than people are, you know, playing it to be. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after a week about after that, I started to really be, I don't know. Freaking out? Nah, I'm not <laughs> panicking, not freaking out. But I started not to t- tweet stuff like, you know, hey, guys, I think we should be preparing. And everyone was like, calm the fuck down, bro. Yep. This is nothing. You're overreacting. And there's a million reasons why, you know, this isn't a big deal. Um, well, there's SARS. And, yeah, and it only kills know, old people. It's, it's only old people. And obviously that's fucked up if you don't give a shit about old people but uh and you know people were are are still to this day going you know spring break and having a blast they just closed disney world you gotta live your life bro but i think it doesn't uh, matter if you kill others <laughs> yeah we should be you know practicing quarantine and chill which if you can yeah if you can obviously you people can, have to work and shit i get be that with purpose um or, or porpoise porpoise Dusty tweets yeah. said that to me. Oh, did he? Yeah. I was going to pull up some Twitter stuff here. Let's go to my articles page and see if I can. Oh, um, yeah. Look how little we are. Yeah. Oh, so. We shrunk. Yeah. Let's <laughs> see. Uh, some crazy shit I'm seeing. Let me find. Let me just get my composure here. This is. Oh, do you need it? Nah. I don't know. Do you, how do you get your composure? I don't when know. When you need composure, what do you do? I Walk us know. through it. I just like try to chill and meditate um, or eat. This was my, th- this was kind of something that's going through my mind right now or last night I tweeted this. It's surreal to me, this whole thing. I can't quite put my finger on the feeling, but this doesn't seem real. I know for some, it's still not really set in, but for me, I feel very quiet and kind of at peace with it. But I also have no idea how bad this thing is could get so i'm still processing and that's kind of where i'm at right now with all this is this going to be just reading your tweets yeah i mean i there's no plan here for this tamra i just want to <laughs> i just want to have a place to communicate with people continue doing uh something 
Um, obviously, we're not going to be talking about crypto and Bitcoin and shit like that. We're going to continue doing what we've always done, which is, um, I don't know, what have we always been doing? Um, talking about this and that and yeah. the other. Yeah. Sometimes. Um, what was the thing? Oh, I need to look at my bookmarks. I don't know if I want to do it on, on this <laughs> account. But okay. uh, I might just go back to my my thing because there's some crazy so this thread right here really pretty much sums it up uh, if you go to my twitter account crypto at crypto euclid this one to me is the scariest and the most real it's this guy right gonna here start off with the scariest yeah why not just go straight into um, scary shit this dude right here okay. jason yanowitz uh yano yanowitz if you're still hanging with friends, going to restaurants and bars and acting like this isn't a big deal, get your shit together. There's Dale. Hey, Dale, what's up, buddy? Damn. Uh, yeah. Listen, people don't want like what martial law. You don't want that to happen. Right. So quarantine yourself if you can. Yeah. Like if you don't want someone to like take control of the situation and do shit for you. Then use your brain. Exactly. If you can't fucking uh, regulate yourself and and work on yourself. Hey, Dale, I already said hi to you, motherfucker. Where? Oh, there. Hey, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy is here. <laughs> uh, Dale, we're coming to your house, by the way. Daddy, we're gonna... Yuki needs a spanking. <laughs> Don't call Dale Daddy. I'm not he okay with that. He called Daddy. It says say hello to Daddy. Don't <laughs> fucking call Dale Daddy. I'm the daddy here. <laughs> Oh, um, I don't call you daddy either. That's da just creepy. Uh, Dale, I almost called Dale dad. I'm about to fucking bark at your ass oh again, God. Dale, for making my wife call you daddy. Um, <laughs> that's that's hilarious. funny. Oh yeah, God. so blah, blah, blah. Fucking this shit is real. Obviously, in Italy, it's uh, unfucking believable. So go read this tweet. I don't mean to just be doom and gloom here, oh, even though. That's I've, what you've been for the last, like, what? How long have you been doom and gloom? Uh, just been. Hold on. Let just me, been tearing it let up. Let me just inform Dale to okay. <laughs> remain calm, Dale. <laughs> remain calm. If things get really crazy, oh just just know that we got you here. At least emotionally, we can we got your back. Um, <laughs> the the chat's a little delayed, but uh, yeah. So that's the point, okay. guys. At this at this juncture, I think we should all be chilling. Um, at home, I, I think really at this point it's beyond, uh, you know, if you can, some people can't just chill at home. Uh, I know, honey, I know everyone can't just chill at home, but I propose that we try to, cause there's a fucking virus going around. So yep. this show is going to be our journey into, uh, being quarantined at home. Cause we've been that way for about three weeks now. Uh, getting groceries delivered tomorrow. I've been picking them up from Walmart, uh, but I just picked them up. They put them in the trunk. I don't even touch anyone except for. Well, a, I have a whole plan with that. Uh -huh. I make you Lysol the trunk so it's right. good and Lysol on the way home, and then we wipe all the shit down, which is a fucking pain in the ass, mm -hmm. honestly. But better safe than sorry. So, you know. At this point, that's the thing is like this thing's disrupting people's lives and it's really hard for people to understand, especially the young people, because they feel very uh, invincible. And that's a lot of the sentiment I, I was seeing on Twitter is, yeah, no, this isn't going to affect me. Calm the fuck down, bro. Um, bye, Dale. Bye, Dale. Love you, man. Take care of yourself and your family. Yes. Um, so, yeah, that's all. I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Who knows? Well, I mean, I have big plans. I think all the grocery stores should be doing delivery or just pick up and turn into warehouses. Why the mm -hmm. fuck are sick people like touching my food? Yeah. Um, uh, and what about like a people bailout instead of a bank bailout? I don't know. Well, so you're talking about the fact that uh, what's his name? That Trump ass bitch uh, Trump. <laughs> Like I'm not talking about anyone specifically. Doing the fucking zero percent interest rate, which like it's. It, it, I'm, I'm not getting political with you. Okay. Yeah. I don't really like. It's just yeah. I'm obviously aggravated with the, his lack of like warning the public. I mean, he literally was tweeting that the shit was just a flu, just like a week ago, and then all of a sudden he switches and it's a national emergency. At least he switched. But yeah, at least now he's not like, yeah, hey, everything's fine. Just you know. Hell, even Elon Musk was tweeting like it wasn't straight out like, you know, this is a hoax like Trump was saying or this was uh, just the flu. But um, Elon tweeted something that like this 
pandemic panic is dumb. And this was back before it was really even becoming like, mainstream people were worried about it and mm. i i get it we don't need to be panicking that's the first thing we yeah, don't do no one needs to go out and buy like 200 dollars worth of lysol no that's shitty to or hoard all the toilet paper. you don't need to be hoarding all that stuff but we do need to be prepared and that we should be limiting our social interaction mm. and that's the point of this show is to remind everyone we need to be chilling at home quarantine and chill stay home if at all possible that's all i'm saying i never ever have i said fucking panic you know, uh, this is it. And yeah, I've jokingly tweeted out, this is like the end of the world gif, you know? Okay, so you've the never is, done that, but you have. No, I, <laughs> but it's a joke, you know what I mean? I'm not a panic. I'm not like, let's fucking all panic. Obviously, shutting everything down is going to fuck with the economy, but, uh, and and it, it has, it already well, people has. people dying is also, you know, if everyone's dead, the economy is going to be fucked too, so let's but it, just... If we can't get this fucking thing under control, guys, it's going to be a little bit more important. It's going to be bigger than just uh, the economy. Now, I know there's all kinds of shit that goes along. And I'm not going to lie. My mind is going everywhere. If uh, this thing becomes crazy enough, there's nothing to prevent, you know, our government to start stripping our rights and taking away our rights in the name of like protecting and protecting us. Um, which is scary to me because when that happens, um, you know, we've seen the movies, we've seen all of them, (laughs) Bard's Maid's Tale, where it becomes this, right? Handmaid's Tale? Handmaid's Tale. Bard's Maid's Tale. I always think Bard's Maid, I don't know why, but Handmaid's Tale, and where it's like this totalitarian society. The virus could actually, you know, cause fertility issues with males, so. Yeah. That could be happening. I feel like your mic needs to be closer. My mic always needs to be closer. Compared to you, who I don't yells, know. I don't know. Um, but oh shit, I don't know, man. Yeah, you've been completely wrapped up. I think, and you know, maybe need to take a breath. I'm and consumed calm down a little bit. I, I'm not. I'm not panicking, but I'm consumed with this because we don't know what. What if the stuff breaks down? What if? Um, well, there's a lot of what ifs. What if the supply chain and you can't get groceries? And are you prepared to feed your family? Uh, what if people can't go to work and they're not getting paid and they don't have groceries? Like there's, there's just a lot of shit that people have to worry about right now. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think, um, what will you buy with your UBI? I'm going to buy one. I don't know. What the fuck is UBI? Oh, use universal basic income. I don't know if we're going to get to that point uh, where I don't know who knows politically what the fuck's going to happen if Bernie's going to be president or what. I don't know how this is going to affect the yeah. election and stuff. Uh, there's people saying this is all a vote. fucking hoax uh, to make Trump look bad, or there's people that are saying this is all hoax to to make you know Trump uh, not there not be an election. Uh, it's not that, guys. It's fucking nature. See, we are a vulnerable species, okay, and we are vulnerable to things like like disease and virus Mm -hmm. and it's hard for me to like pay attention because i'm Uh reading the chat uh someone's talking about militia my militia unit was just ordered to be on standby in my state crazy intel coming in nonstop in the comments channel until suggest us wide travel ban and mandatory quarantine soon yeah i agree should not probably be a travel ban not confirmed Mm -hmm. just intel chatter i'm the same my brain's all over the place with this uh, I think that, okay, that reminds me of a friend um, who sent me uh, an email that he received from the local police department that they're going to stop responding mm-hmm. to low uh, low danger crimes, okay? So what that tells me, what? what that tells me is that the police are gearing up to not be responding. So what does that mean? Well, what does that mean if the police can't come to your house? That means you have to protect yourself. So it maybe it is a good idea. Now I'm not proposing mm-hmm. everyone go out there. First and, of all, should they be posting that? Like they could, you know, if you call, they could just tell you that. Like we're not responding. You don't don't post shit like that. Like you then don't, people are going to go, "Oh, now I can do whatever the fuck I want to do." I mean, it's just so, not a good idea. So here's the thing. Um I think at this point, uh we need to consider how do we protect ourselves when the when 911 does not work how do you uh, protect your property I mean it's obvious um, you have to be able and thank God we live in a country where uh, we have the right to own guns and well, weapons that's a pro and a con because now there's probably people who shouldn't be running around with weapons well so obviously <laughs> so. obviously that's an issue there's going to be people that are looking for a reason to go batshit crazy 
uh, and just waiting. And that's the that's yeah. the people you got to worry about. And that's why, <laughs> yes. uh, you you know, I'm not saying mm-hmm. go out there and, and, and buy up all the ammo. Um, and I'm not saying, you know, get your your peeps together and start planning. But yeah. it might not be a bad idea to start thinking about how the fuck are you going to protect your family when shit goes to shit? And, um, you know, when when we lose what about when we lose the Internet, or we lose uh, again, power. How the fuck are we going to communicate with each other again? If you're quarantining and chilling, if you have that luxury, then you probably don't have to worry about protecting your family as much as people who are just out there. I don't know. At some point, I mean, we've seen the movies and stuff. We know how shit. And then, you know, there's also the thing. Have you been uh, walking, watching Walking Dead? I'm not even worried. I'm not even talking about, like, the, the oh, fucking God. virus at this point, which to me, that's what the zombie re- zombies rec- uh, represent. Uh-huh. You know, that's the virus, right. okay? I'm more worried about the breakdown in society. I'm talking about that, too. That's on there. Where, yeah, there's, like, roaming gangs and shit. And, you know... Uh, that are what was the movie we were just watching last night? Quarantine. Quarantine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a fucking crazy movie to watch right now. Oh, they all are. They all are. They all are. <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot to process. Do you think we're more prepared because we've watched all those movies? Yeah, of course. I feel like life is imitating art, and well, for some reason we're. So you're blaming authors and movies. No, makers. this is just weird, and I don't. I'm still like I'm. I'm fathoming i i so there's also and still uh there's people right now if more than two or three people are watching this right now uh or who are saying this to themselves this guy's full of shit this is crazy <laughs> there's not this guy's an alarmist he's nuts that this is nothing this is the flu and people are still tweeting that they're still saying ah this is dumb this Listen, is nothing i tell you this all the time like if you have to go to work right now that's really the only mentality you can take is like well, i agree fuck it's about and it, we can't fault people that are thinking that way because i understand like mm-hmm. we're we have the luxury of being able to work from home and we're yeah. we're okay in that department mm-hmm. um and our kids are homeschooled and not everyone has Only that one. luxury. One's graduated. I, one's graduated. You did a good job, hon. Um, so obviously it's easy for us to say stay home. It's easy because we, we pretty much already do that. But I feel like it's important uh, that we start, you know, thinking about uh, the, the betterment of the society and maybe try to prevent the breakdown of everything. What is it, kind? Oh, our son <laughs> wants to shout out Lil Bub. He's his favorite kitty on oh, YouTube. You're make cry. Poor Unf- little Bub passed. Unfortunately, little Bub passed away. Rip but. little Bub. Okay, guys. Uh, anyway, I think some scary times are ahead of us. I'm not a doomsdayer. I'm not a, a doomer, as I've been called on Twitter. Oh, have many. you been called that? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I tweeted out. Here's the one that really got a lot of people Uh-oh. upset. I tweeted out a picture of a girl scout selling girl scout cookies in front of walmart this was like four days ago right. she had a fat stack of cash yeah she had a big fat contaminated stack cash. of and i my tweet was this is what's wrong with society we have a fucking pandemic going on and this mother has her child out here selling girl scout cookies now that got some people upset, like, calm down, bro. You're fucking, t- you're getting time for you to get off the internet. You've been on here too long. Take a break. You're, you're overreacting. Hey guys, I don't think I'm overreacting. I think, and another thing, oh dude, you're fucking pussy because, uh, uh, gr- kids can't get the virus. Right. Well, listen, dipshit, the fucking <laughs> kids can be carriers. Okay. I, I don't know that that's not true. I don't know if kids can't get it. I'm not sure but on anyway the stats it's there but it's just the same shit it's just the exact same shit of like but the parents can get it and then there's like just you know parentless kids running around yeah so and you know it's like but that's fine and i get it the fucking uh kid you know, young people and people that are like 
have to go to work and they don't want to process this. They don't want to think that they're vulnerable. They don't want to think that this could happen to me. We are so fucking fragile, guys. And business owners, too. I mean, like restaurant owners and bar Good owners point. and shit. I mean, bar owners, restaurant owners, that's their livelihood. Suck. I get it. They don't want it to stop. But you right. can't, we can't keep fucking going to the bars and shit and mingling and fucking and pretending like nothing's happening. Who is making happening. your food? How do you know that they're not sick? Well, and just like us getting grocery delivery and me going to get, which I'm not even doing anymore. I'm not even going to do the grocery pickup at Walmart anymore where they put it in my trunk. I'm Now we're doing the thing where they're delivering groceries. Even that's a, a like a risk. No, because leave it on the table. Leave Thank the shit you. on the table. That's fine <laughs> out in the carport. But we still, the, the shit comes in. And I mean, I you, know. we that's wipe why everything I think down. The grocery stores should be warehouses. And then the employees should be just delivering it or doing the, you know, grocery delivery out in the parking lot. Like just dropping, you know, bring it to the car, putting it in the car. Like don't let, you know that when you're sick, you go to the grocery store. And we mm-hmm. know that people are out there that have it and don't even know they have it. Or people who have it and don't give a fuck that they have it. Um, so like why are why are they just touching all of our shit like yeah. you know and think about these things and think about the mail too like when you get the mail be careful because mm-hmm. it apparently stays on paper when you're handling cash be Re- careful recon jake says i'm pretty surprised at the number of people who are just poo-pooing, poo-pooing. the entire situation <laughs> like nothing's going on poo-poo. seems crazy i know and that's the thing i've not only gotten people that are like you're crazy bro but they're angry they're like they're pissed off that I would even suggest that they should stop going out and partying and shit. How dare you fucking tell me like what to do with my life. But what you're fucking doing is you're endangering my life and hers and my son over there and my 20 year olds upstairs. You're endangering our lives by continuing to spread this fucking virus when we fucking know that the shit is real guys. I know you want to pretend like this shit's not real and it's all fucking hoax and it's like not going to affect you and not going to affect us, but this shit is past the point. We have enough motherfucking evidence now. We have enough evidence that this shit is out of control and look at fucking Italy, guys. Just look at Italy. Uh, you don't trust China, neither do I. But I don't know <laughs> that I trust China with what they're the, saying. The government or the officials or whatever it is. I don't, yeah, don't really um, trust the numbers coming in from there either. But when uh, a place like Italy, who probably has better medical than us, is... Yeah, of course Italy has better <laughs> medical than us. Guys, this shit is out of control. Be prepared. Do not fucking panic. It, it screws with people who have, like, real Ill, other illnesses, you know, they... Mm-hmm. The hospitals are full. What it, with the hospitals full of people that contracted coronavirus because mm-hmm. your ass couldn't stay out of a fucking bar or <laughs> away from the fucking beach or spring break or Disney oh, World or what the fuck ever, then the other people can't seek care because the nurses and doctors are overwhelmed. The point of this show, it's called Quarantine and Chill because that's what we should be doing. We should be chilling. Don't fucking panic, but please don't spread this shit. That's all I got to say. I love all you guys. We're going to try to do this shit as much as possible. We're here on Twitch now. Uh, obviously we'd appreciate if you subscribe. I don't even know how the fuck Twitch works, to be honest. <laughs> I know there's a way you can subscribe and stuff, and I think it helps. Uh, we can it helps us financially. So obviously, if you can, uh, we'd appreciate it. We also have a Patreon, EuclidandOaks.com is the address. Uh, we're and gonna- if you're just like starting to get concerned, don't go like buy all the shit. Don't hoard the shit because, um, especially like retarded stuff like toilet paper guys I mean, if, that's not retarded but you should no, you, that's I just, not like the most know, important whatever. thing all right so th- to please at least subscribe to the channel here and um we're gonna do this thing live on twitch it's just the place i've decided to do it uh, you've decided we she decided we decided together um yeah and that's it uh i don't know anything else to say this is going to be a place for me to get my thoughts out and kind of do a live journaling um, Jay Riggs says he's been okay. prepped for up for years. Yeah. I, well, we wish we had been prepped for years. <laughs> we definitely, I used to be way more into prepping and stuff. And then, um, I just sort of like, I don't know. I, well, I became an alcoholic for several years and luckily now I'm sober 31 months. Okay. But, um, yeah, obviously I wish we were more prepared than we are, but, um, yeah, we started only, buying a little bit extra here and there like a month ago. I'm like just touching my face constantly. And mm, we're not, uh, but yeah, I don't know. 
That's why they recommend you shave your beard. Puh, I'm not doing that. No, you shouldn't with that chin of yours. So uh, just please, guys, I don't know. Stay safe out there. Yeah, stay safe. Um, stay smart. We're going to, as we have as we learn news, we're going to try to aggregate as much of the the news as possible. This isn't coming from one side or the other. Obviously, uh, I'm not a big fan of Trump, but I'm not here to bash any political side or what the fuck ever. I just want to give people kind of an overall sense of what how my perspective of it is, and perhaps maybe uh, you can make some wise decisions and protect your family. Um, as I, I'm very, we are very connected in the cryptocurrency community and have a lot of friends in that community and have a lot of different viewpoints and sources of information coming to us. And as we get the information, the plan is to uh, disseminate it. I don't know if that's the right word here, but sounds right to me. And perhaps, um, I don't know, you know, maybe even just sort of make this whole uh, quarantine and chill thing a little less painful. I'm not going to try to be too terribly fucking like um, serious. Like, you know, I, I've switched into serious mode. Everyone knows that my shit on Twitter is, is crazy and silly. And I, I, I really I deal with stressful things with laughter. And I think we should do that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think we should also use common sense. Be prepared. Uh, do the right things to protect yourself, your family, and the, the the human race, I guess. I think that's important. Anything you'd like to add, Tamara, before we close this nope. be broadcast? Safe. Be, be safe, safe everyone. Smart. We love all you guys. And um, take care. Yeah, take care of yourself. Thanks for watching.